In this short tutorial, we're going to see how you can integrate the latest version of the procedural turn in place system for UE5 with other projects. The main difference with the previous version is that this one fully implements networking. As you can see on the screen, I'm using the server right now, and you can see that all motions are being properly replicated to the other clients. If I switch over to any of the other clients, you will see that their movements are also being replicated properly. In addition, all these other characters are just NPCs, these are not player characters, and you can see that their movements are also being replicated properly to all clients. Please note that you can also just use the characters that are provided by default with the turn in place system and they have some strafing functionality uh, as well as the turn in place system. You can find them on the character blueprints folder, there's a UE5 and the UE4 version. So if you want to integrate th this with a different character, what we're going to do is open your own character blueprint and we're going to click on the component section, add and search for the turn in place component. Then we're going to head over to the class default section and we're going to search for the tick group. And here we're going to make sure that everything is set to during physics, except for the mesh. The mesh should actually be post physics. And this is very important to prevent any jittering and to ensure that everything looks smooth when, um, on multiplayer. Then we're going to hit compile and save. Now we're going to open the third person character um, that comes with the system and we're going to head over to the event graph and here we're going to copy everything that's in blue and green to your own character blueprint. Before we hit compile we're going to search for this variable here, the target actor rotation um, replicated variable. We're going to right click create variable and on the replication option here make sure to set this as replicated. Then let's hit compile and save. Now we have to copy some functionality to the animation blueprint. So we're going to search for your own animation blueprint here. And we're also going to search in the anim blueprints folder for the UE5 money example. And if you're actually using UE4 character, you can use the UE4 example here. Now on this animation blueprint, we're going to copy the get direction um, function here, paste it in our own um, animation blueprint, and inside it, we're going to make sure to click on the set direction node and hit create variable, hit compile and save. Then we're going to copy the update turn in place variables function, and this is the most important one to make sure that everything works properly. We're going to paste it on the functions um, section and now we're going to head over to each one of these variables and we're going to right click on them, create variable. And when we do so, we have to make sure to set replication to replicated. Now let's head over to the event graph and on the update animation section we're going to add a call to the update turn in place variables function. Then we're going to head over to the example animation blueprint and on the anim graph we're going to copy everything that comes after this um, default slot here. We're also going to copy the IK but you can use your own and we're going to paste it on our own animation blueprint. We're going to hit compile and save. We are pretty much done here, so if I just hit play, you will see that um, if I hit the tab key, the character will rotate. And if I hold down the right mouse key, the character will rotate when I exceed the, the proper threshold. Um, however, 
um, the strafing is not working properly because we have to retarget the animations first. So we'll retarget the animations. Um, it's a very simple process. All we have to do is head over to the turn in place animations folder. And here inside the strafing folder, you will find this um, blend space. We're going to right click and hit retarget animation assets. And here we're going to select the retargeter, the, the RTG mannequin retargeter. Now just make sure that on the target mannequin, you, you have to select your own mannequin. We're going to name this with a prefix so we can uh, easily find it. Then we only have to set up the animation blend space. So inside the locomotion state machine, we're going to go to the walk run section. And here we're going to search for the strafe animation we just created. We're going to add it here, connect it to the output pose and make sure to connect the ground speed node and the direction node. Don't forget to also click on the blend space and on the on update function, select the get direction function that we created previously. Now, if I just hit compile and play, if I hold down the right mouse button, you will see that the character is strafing properly. So that was integration. Um, if you have additional questions, please note that there's a full in-depth PDF manual that you can find on the documentation folder. If you right click here and select show in Explorer, you will be able to access the PDF manual that has a lot of information on how you can customize the system according to your needs. You can also ask um, any, any questions you have on this YouTube video or you can head over to the marketplace to the questions section. Thank you.